Hello and welcome to CB200 video. Um, I got a little bit ahead of myself um, and I haven't filmed all of this, but we'll catch up. So I have a problem with the side stand on the motorbike in that when I put it on its side, its side stand, the bike le leans over at uh, quite an excessive angle. Um, and I've worked out that the problem is that um, the bolt that goes through uh, the side stand here. Um, it's not the actual side stand, which it can be on a lot of bikes where this this opening here becomes wide and therefore the whole thing becomes wobbly. And all you've got to do is put this in a vise and pinch it up a little bit. But it's turned out it's not that, if only life was that simple. What it's turned out to be is actually the hole in the bracket. So this is the bracket, it sits at the bottom of the frame, uh, just behind where the pegs attached. The pegs attached here, we'll have a look at that a bit later. Um, and this bolt comes through the side stand, through this hole, through into the other part of the side stand, and then there's a nut that locks it in place. And what's happened is that the hole in here has has become too big, um, and so the whole thing is very, very loose. So I've been thinking about what I can do for that. Now, I haven't got a welding kit, um, and I don't know anyone that welds, um, because what I was thinking was we weld this up and then um, re-drill it. It's a simple hole through this, this uh, plate um, when we then just drill it and ream it to the relevant sides. So um, I've cleaned it up, got rid of the, most of the paint that's on it um, so that I can go and try and basically find someone, a welding firm, that can weld that up a bit for me and then we can take it down, down to the engineering firm that I've, I've worked with um, to, to drill it out um, to the right size. But while I was doing this, I got a little bit carried, a little bit carried away and um, took all the pegs off um, and the peg thing. So let's have a look at that. And to say this was a pain um, is, a, is a bit of an understatement because it was, well, one of the pegs had um, seized, the peg pin had seized in place. And so it was an absolute pig to get it out. Um, ended up leaving it soaking for, I think three days, keeping coming back, giving it a persuasion with a large hammer, um, penetrating oil, um, the works really. Um, but anyway, there's the, uh, the peg bar, so foot pegs rest on here and on here. Um, so that's now all been uh, de-rusted, cleaned. I've given it a, uh, an undercoat and then um, I've used all the rest of the gloss black I've got um, to, to paint that. So that's now done. Um, so there's a slight red sheen to it because there's not enough black paint on it. But I really want to get all of this um, powder coated so I'm not too fussed about it at the moment and then we've got uh, the right hand bracket fitting and then the left hand bracket fitting and uh, really it's very simple to take this up take this all off and apart um, and so what we're going to do um, is I need to get a few things sorted out and then we'll come back and we'll Assemble the pegs. Um, I've ordered some new rubbers, so we'll get these rubbers off. Uh, hopefully they arrive. Get these pens out, get these, these um, de-rusted and painted. Um, and I've also ordered um, a few replacement bolts because the bolts that came off uh, were in very poor condition. Um, so threads nearly gone. Um, very badly rusted, and how well you'll see that, but very badly rusted and corroded. I mean, the deoxy got rid of the rust, but there's not a lot of metal left on those threads. So, as it's the foot pegs, etc., I think I'll uh, I'll get new bolts for those. Um, so those are on their way. So yeah, so let me get sorted out, let me clear it up, and we'll put the pegs back together again, um, and I'll hopefully give an update on the um, piece for the side stand. So yeah. Um, back in a bit. So it's been a couple of days now and um, 
Unfortunately, I've run out of uh, the black paint. I thought I had some more, tried to get some more, and I couldn't. Um, so I've um, progressed the spring and the clip that we were looking at just earlier on. Um, I've just given it some um, red primer uh, just to give it a coating so when I, I can get it back on the bike so I can use the side stand on it um, and I'll get it fixed as soon as I as soon as I can um, but for now it is what it is so there's the bracket done for that the new foot pegs brothers have arrived but as I haven't got any more paint I'm going to just keep them on, on as they are um, but yeah, something that I've started doing for the um, for the springs is I've used some of this um, uh, enamel spray paint rubberized black um, on the springs as it gives a fairly good um, flexible coating for them. Uh, and, and this is how I do it. Just use a, a clamp that can um, open up and uh, stretch the spring open. So... There we are, undo that. So I've used this technique on the other springs on, on the bike as well, and I found that it gives a good you know, protective and flexible um, coating on the spring. Uh, there we are. So there's the new, there's the nicely painted side stand uh, spring or kickstand spring. Um, the peg bar is done and painted. The brackets are done. I've done as much as I can on this. Um, I haven't got, like I said, I haven't got any more paint, so I'm just going to leave it in the red for now. Pegs are sorted and done. All the fittings I've cleaned back. They're now uh, oiled. And ready to go back on so i think what we'll do now is um we'll put all this back together again um and get it on the bike so going through everything really putting it back together again you can really see the the problem with this part in that so this is the the bracket on the on the frame going through with that and you can just see the amount of play uh, that's in there so the bolt goes and fixes to this so the play is purely in that that bolt hole uh, this part here has has widened a little bit, but only by a couple of mil on this side. Uh, on this side, these are, are parallel. So the play that I'm, I'm seeing is purely within this part, is purely within this part. So I need to get that, that hole welded up and then re-drilled to the proper, drilled and reamed. Um, but for now, I'll have to just put it together uh, as it is. Um, and uh, get that fixed at a later date. Um, but as a note, this bolt going through here, it's an awkward one. I'll just try to, to re-tap it because the thread's a bit damaged. Um, and it's an M10, but it's at 1.25 pitch, not 1.5, which is your standard M10 um, pitch rate. So um, I might start looking at investing in some, some taps and dies at those uh, uh, various uh, alternative um, pitches. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to carry on getting stuff uh, set up ready and then we'll look at uh, doing the, the full assembly, um, get the grease out and that kind of stuff. So yeah. Right, let's put the foot pegs together. So they are uh, left and right handed. Um, and so this is the, that's the front of the bike that way. So this is the right and this is the left. So the main parts for this are the collar, which fits into there. Then we have the spring, which sits on with its square hook over the foot peg, so that this engages with the side here of the, the pin. Big washer goes over the top there. And this all then slides into there with the pin going from the front to there. 
washer and then split pin. And then the other side, exactly the same way. And we just want to tidy up those split pins. There we are. Right. So, um, the rubber goes there. Oh, the um, size stand bracket that we looked at earlier on. Um, I've managed to get it off to an engineering workshop. So they are going to bore out the hole and put a sleeve in there, um, which is what they can do. So. I'll go get that later on, but with the power of YouTube, it will be back here momentarily. So, uh, size stand. So we want round rubber that side, collar on there, that goes on there. All right. Okay, this one on first. Okay, there we are. So we've got the bracket for the right hand side, the bracket for the left hand side, side sand spring, long bolt. Okay, now some of these bolts were a bit knackered so I've, I've managed to get replacements in. So, those two bolts have been replaced. That doesn't look right at all for that one. Again, none of these are looking right. I wonder if the uh, previous owners had to bore out a thread to put a new bolt in. We shall find out. So, right, depending on which uh, bolts we end up using, we might get some more washers and nuts out. Um, but by the power of YouTube, here we are. 
So what they ended up doing was drilling out the um, oversized hole and putting a, a bushing in there uh, for me. So we have now can mount our, center, our side stand into there. far less little bit of play but far less than we had before there we are nice and that nut goes on the top I'm actually gonna, see I'm just going to put a washer on that because that's been a pain there we are spring to go on but side stand done right let's get down to the bike and let's fit this all up so I've set you up uh, right down here underneath the bike so I'm just putting in the old bolts into the right hand side just to help clear out the thread a bit and I'll also be checking the new bolts actually work and go into the threads nicely. Having a quick look at the best I can, I can see no evidence that the threads have been stripped and have been you know, a helicoil inserted or anything. So. So let's try a new bolt. So that's looking good and far more secure than the old knackered rusty one. I used to clear out threads with a, a tap but I found too many instances where the, it would actually damage the thread um, so I've sort of stopped doing that um, so just dry this thread out, clear it out a bit there we are, do the other one there we go so the two new bolts I haven't tried the other hole yet There you go, nicely into there, get rid of the old ones. So the first thing to go on is the side stand. And I've run out of the black paint, so I will have to get some more black paint later on there so that goes on loosely like so foot pegs so that goes through there Get these out of the way and then this goes on like that so that goes round that goes flat against there In there, 
the other side. Okay, socket set, do it all up. Now I can't make out a torque setting for these foot pegs, so I'm just going to do them up. Which I think is a reasonable tightness. There we go. Now that I've got the centre stand clamp on, I can now do this up with a bit more oomph, and then likewise on the nut. There we go. Right, the last thing to do on this is to get the spring on. So if the spring goes on, this lug back here, where is it? There it is. With the spring away. So the spring sits flat and you want it to be with the, the flat side against the at. And then we bring that up to here and then we basically have to wrench the spring into place. Now, not wanting to whack back you in the face, I'm going to put you a bit at the back and hope that hope that we're still in frame <coughs> as you have no idea whether we call that or not but there we are there's the spring in position at the moment it's quite tight. So we are in position. So at the moment it's quite tight. It's not, as it were, flicking back, but you know that will that will come as it all wears into place. And obviously I need to take it off and paint that black when I get the paint. So sprocket is all clean and tidy. I'm probably gonna um put the, a new sprocket on. I'm sure I've got a new sprocket. Um, but there we are. So there is the pegs stripped, painted, cleaned, tidy, side stand fixed, less of a lean, and looking quite, quite nice. So there we are. There's the uh, pegs and side stand refurbished and back on the bike. Now, before I go, I just thought I'd give you a quick little teaser on uh, something that I picked up today. So what do you think of that? It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely fabulous paint job. We'll do a proper reveal and, and sort of uh, overview of uh, the tank and the bowl. So the bowl's ready to go on up here. So we'll get the bowl on next time. We'll start getting the wiring reloomed, uh, re reconnected, etc., up in the headlight bowl. Um, and yeah, we're really coming together. So I hope that uh, this uh, foot peg one um, was enjoyable. I hope you learned something or it was it by any means useful or informative. Hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, bye bye for now and see you next time. Cheers. Bye.